Chris Kamek, Life Form LED Product Marketing Manager, and this is Rick Bosick, Advanced Technologist. We're going to show you how to use your Life Form LED strips today. Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a power strip to an extension strip. In this case, it's going to be an amber power strip that I'm going to connect to a red extension strip. You also can obviously do red to red, amber to amber. Uh, but you cannot do red to blue or red to green or amber to blue or amber to green. But you can connect blue to green and blue to blue and of course green to green. Okay, what I'm going to show you here are some of the common parts that you're going to need for connecting the power strip to an extension strip. And what those are is, is a common stapler, some scotch tape, and some commonly used scissors. What we're going to show you here is some of the uh, markings that we provide with the instruction sheet and what we want to be able to do is using the alignment template is be able to take the power strip with the B marking and align it to the light form strip B top edge as indicated on this sheet here. Similar we want to do the same with the extension strip we're going to want to take the extension strip and line it up against this edge so we can get ready for the next uh, step. Prior to taking the extension strip to this edge though, I'll be showing that we are going to need to cut using this cut line and common scissors we're going to cut along that edge to remove this here extra, extra material. What I'm going to show here is using scissors is cutting along this line that has the uh, A marking which is the extension strip like that. And the reason we do this is we want to ensure that we're going to have equal spacing of our light sources as we transition from the power strip to the extension strip. Okay, what I'm going to show you here is how to connect the power strip to our extension strip. I've already lined up the power strip using the alignment template and also the extension strip using the alignment template. And it's important, as I said before, that uh, we use these alignment lines to connect the extension to the power strip to ensure that we have uniform spacing between the light sources between those two strips. Now before doing the actual connection what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of scotch tape to create a little hinge and I'm going to do this so that way I can flip the strips over so I can secure them from the back prior to stapling. What you can see here is I've created my hinge using that scotch tape and now I'm going to flip the strips over so that I can secure them from the back. And now I'm going to flip it over so then I can remove the strips from the template and also remove the tape. And now I'm ready to staple. Okay, using a common stapler, I am now going to connect the two strips together. What I'm using here, I'm going to use this line here as a, an alignment for where the stapler needs to be. And as you can see, the material is such that you can staple through it. And you have to also do the other side. Again, there's an alignment to use for the stapler. And there, you've connected the two strips together. Okay, now that we've completed, you know, uh, applying the staplers to the two strips, we're ready now to do some of our cleanup work. And that's nothing more than just removing the tape that we put on the back side. And then we can verify that we made proper uh, the staplers work by applying power to the two strips. Again, the power supply is at 12 volts, and as you can see, the amber power strip is connected to the red extension strip. Thanks for watching this video today, and keep an eye on this site, lightformled.com, for helpful tips and installation ideas from Grody Industries and Lightform LED.